So word.new and we go in here and we paste in the link to the video and it's just pasted in a link to it. Um, if I go into insert online video right here, this is the same thing as PowerPoint was doing. You go to online video, then you paste it in. Now it knows that it needs to insert a player and it does that for me. And again, I can click read transcript. There's the transcript, there's the chapters. It's got them like chunked up into the chapters. I've got the call outs available to me in a Word document. Um, yeah. I can watch a video, which is awesome because this would be really good for like, say that your, your Word document, say that it's like a guide, a user guide. You could put like little how-to clips in the instructions mm -hmm. that is the Word document, right? Or say that like the Word document is a template that you want people to fill out. You could have a little video at the top that is how to fill out this word document you know yep. um dude that's awesome for like teaching people how to do something desktop. can you try to open it in the desktop oh yeah sure yep so let's edit in desktop grant access whatever 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 <laughs> i have so many one drives set up on my on my mac okay so here it is in the desktop i'm gonna just make it as big as I can zoom in on it and um, nope. So it did that kind of old school way of doing things where like it put the, the picture of yeah. the video, but it opened the video in the browser, but so, you're also on a Mac. So we'll, we'll test that out on a windows desktop. Yeah. That would be Mac. interesting to see. Yeah. So um, a little bit of a nuance there on the desktop. It looks like it just opens you in the web page.